Whew, yes. <laughs> God bless you. This is September 15th. So the word of God, Lord, we need you. We invite you into this space, in this place, God. You are God. You are King. You are Lord. We love you. Speak to our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Rest in me, my child. This time devoted to me is not meant is meant to be peaceful, not stressful. You don't have to perform in order to receive my love. I have boundless, unconditional love for you. How it grieves me to see my children working for love, trying harder and harder, yet never feeling good enough to be loved. Be careful that your devotion to me does not come another form of works. I want you to come into my presence joyfully and confidently. You have nothing to fear for you wear my own righteousness. Gaze into my eyes and you will see no condemnation, only love and delight in the one I see. Be blessed as my face shines radiantly upon you, giving you peace. Okay. So I got to admit that it has been stressful. I've been stressed lately. Like really, really stressed. And not stressed where it's like I'm emotional, I'm being nasty towards people, or I'm helter-skelter. Not that type of stress, but that stress that come, that's like within, am I doing it enough? Am I accomplishing enough? Am I gonna ever reach my goals? Um, what does God really have for me? And there's a lot of other things that's going on in my life that I'm having a little bit of anxiety about. You know, what do I do? How do I go about doing it? You know, and I don't know, right? And yeah, this time that I have, it has been stressful and I don't know if I've even been in a place where I'm like receiving God's unconditional love because I'm so goal focused and goal oriented and I want to get things accomplished and I'm having this new venture with building the YouTube channel and the podcast and you know really wanting to be this content creator you know developing and creating sellable products the p4 brand you know all of that where we pray process information pursue god's word we paint you know why do we do all of those things those those are strategies praying painting um, processing information from self-development resources, pursuing God's work. All of those things are strategies so that we can problem solve to produce the positive results that we want so we can move from pain to experiencing peace and enjoying life's pleasures. Well, me like have, being the visionary and implementing that and developing content and finding my stride and, you know, that is, is stressful. You know, and I don't know if I really have been like entering into God's presence with this peace and unconditional love that he got me. Like, I can honestly say that I don't know if I really have been doing that. It's like, OK, God, what do you want me to do? What do you need me to do? What do you need to get out of me, God? You know, like what's going on with you? You know, it's been more task oriented it's for since the turn of the year. I've really been task oriented and have not rest. Even when it came to spending time with God, it was like, all right, God, you know, I'm going, I went to two conferences this year, went to the Sheba conference um, in Orlando and then Atlanta. And it was like, I have been task oriented all of this year and I'm still task oriented. And I get up in the morning, I gotta complete this. I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this. I don't know why my nose is itching, excuse me. But yeah, so I can definitely say that I have not been careful. I have been, I've been work, I've been working. And my relationship with God has been works. It has not really been peaceful or restful this particular year. So I got to take ownership for that and thank God for the pull up, right? 
So let's go ahead and pursue God's word. So we are going to look at John chapter 15 verses 13 through 15, but actually we're going to start in verse 11 and it says, I've, and again, we read in the message Bible, I told you these things for a purpose that my joy might be your joy and your joy wholly mature. This is my command. Love one another the way I loved you. This is the best way to love. Put your life on the line for your friends. You are my friends when you do the things I command you. I'm no longer calling you servants because servants don't understand what their master is thinking and planning. No, I named you friends because I'm let you in on everything I've heard from the father. And again, I haven't really been engaging with Christ as my friend. I've been engaging with him more as, as my Lord. And, that, and not that that's a bad thing, but in that sense of, okay, what do you want me to do? When do you want me to do it? How do you want me to do it? You know, okay, what does this mean? How do I go about doing this? All right, whatever's in me, get it out of me. It's been, hmm. And you know, y'all know like, I'm real, right? So I'm trying to hold back my tears because I just got this revelation that I have not, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Let me pull my whole stuff together. Oh God. <laughs> Let me pull it all the way together. Um, I have not been doing that. I have been task oriented. I have not engaged my relationship with God as my friend and as the person who loves me unconditionally. What about you? Do you find yourself being so task oriented with this goal, especially if you have gifts and talents and knowledge, especially if you are on social media and everybody's a millionaire? I don't, yes, I'm a Christian. Yes, I love God. But I went to school. I don't know why this piece of hair doing this, child. But I went to school to obtain my doctorate degree to be successful, all to learn that that's not the way to success or the type of success that I want to obtain. <laughs> okay, some people say, well, you've, you've got your doctorate, that's such an accomplishment. Okay, but if it doesn't convert to coins, okay, then, then it ain't doing for me what I needed to do for me. So, but you know, and so I just been like, trying not not i can say there's been a little bit of comparison regarding time regarding skills just regarding like how do i take all of what god has given me you know and convert it and like it's just been so deep within my soul that sometimes it's like well do i make that an idol do you you know like do you put things as an idol even though they're good you know are you pursuing something more than you are pursuing god do you want something more? Like, what is the proper order? Not that God doesn't have it or want it or that you can't obtain it, but like, what's the order? You know what I mean? Of, is God first in everything? And is it causing you not to relate to God as your friend and as the lover of your soul? You know, like that's where I am. I haven't really been relating to God as the lover of my soul and as my friend. It's been very task oriented. So I need to take a look at that and I need to get before the Lord and really pull my whole self together. Cause I don't know if I really enjoyed this year. It's like September 15th. I don't know if I enjoyed this year. It's been task after task, goal after goal. But I, you know, what do I need to do? I've been a student, I've been learning. I mean, like God deliver me, get things out of me. Yeah. So, all right, y'all, this is P to the fourth power. God bless you where we pray, 
We paint, we pursue God's word. We process information for self-development resources so we can move from pain to experiencing peace and enjoying life's pleasures to get us to the point that we can produce sellable products that's going to bring value to other people so that in turn, hopefully, they would also create a product that's going to help somebody move from pain to experiencing peace and enjoying life's pleasures. God bless you.